Good morning, friends. Today we are going to learn one of the most important poems in English literature. That is from Rudyard Kipling's If. So whenever we read the title of this poem, we begin to realize that the poem is all about the condition. Certain conditions are being applied before we interpret the poem, before we do something, before we accomplish something, before we receive something in life. Here, the context and the content of the poem is based on the conditions. But the conditions are not merely applied. Along with the conditions, some expectations are placed. And these expectations should be fulfilled by us. At the end of this, the poet has given the solution of the problem. Most of the times the solution is not given. The poet has brilliantly suggested the solutions which human beings can apply in their day-to-day -day life. The poem If is composed by Rudyard Kipling, who is very well-known Indian-born British Nobel laureate poet. This is a poem which stands as an ultimate inspiration to all of us. Why? Because the poem exposes different situations in life, different conditions in life, and it's a man who has to know how to deal with such bizarre conditions, some strange circumstances, and succeed in those things. In this fashion, the poet Rudyard Kipling conveys his ideas, emotions, feelings, perspectives in such a fashion that man should win this life. And after all, this is the best poem I have ever seen, which talks about and which preaches human being how to be good. It's a moral lesson for all of us to be a good human being. The poem is written in 1895 and the poem was first published in Rewards and Fairies in 1910. The poem is having 32 lines long with four stanzas of eight lines each. Actually, this poem entitled If by Rudyard Kipling is a tribute to Linder Star Jameson. The poem is written in the form of parental advice to the poet's son, John. It's quite conspicuous for the father to advise his son. This is not a new thing to you and me and to all of us. Why? Because every father 
teaches his son good lessons of life. So parental advice is quite conspicuous. And here is Rudyard Kipling as a poet, as the father. He talks to his son, whose name is John. He advises his son, John. The poem is very simple to understand, but very difficult to get some values inculcated in our day-to-day -day life in order to enrich ourselves, in order to be morally good and be a good human being in life. Let's have a look at the thematic concern in the poem, what the poem is all about, how is the structure, and what are the, the, what are the demands that the poet puts forth to all of us to fulfill. <clears throat> For the theme, as we have talked a lot about it, so the poem is basically talking about different conditions that we should meet to succeed in life and make this life ecstatic and a beautiful one. The whole poem is written in a single complex sentence. The subordinate clauses begin with if and the main clause concludes the entire theme comes at the end and the poem ends with a full stop. Okay. So the structure of the poem is equally important. Why? Because it has to achieve the conditional goal. Very simple thing is that in, in grammar you might have studied, if I make a sentence like this, if you work hard, you will succeed in life. This is a conditional clause. Here is a condition which indicates by using the word if. If you work hard, you will succeed. It means your success depends on your hard work. So here is a condition of working hard. So in the same way, the poet has presented a number of conditions to all of us, which we need to fulfill in time in order to succeed in life. So what are the conditions? Let's see. Let's see the conditions. So before we proceed further, I would like to bring your attention to certain conditions which are essential to talk about. The poet speaks of the achievements at the end after discussing all the requirements to reach there. The structure is quite symbolic because it incessantly suggests that you can get the rewards only after you have fulfilled the preconditions. If you fulfill preconditions, you will succeed, you will get the rewards. This makes the reader eager to know what would happen when we meet all these conditions. So in this fashion, this poem retains the stance, curiosity in us and it keeps interest till the end. So this is the main theme of the poem. And it talks about the condition 
So the main theme of the poem is a combination of so many ifs. The poet is not dealing with only one if in the poem. So many ifs are there. So there is no only one if that it is. There are so many ifs. And if is an act, is an apt one for the poem. This is quite appropriate. This is quite suitable in this poem. And by using if, the poet presents his views. So let's see what are the views of the poet in this poem and how he deals with them. First stanza. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you and make allowance for their doubting to you. If you can wait and not be tired by waiting, we should work hard and wait for the result patiently. We should not get tired by waiting. Or being lied about, don't deal in lies. Or being hated, don't give way to hating. And it don't look too good nor talk too wise. In second stanza, if you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thoughts your aim, if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same, If you can bear to hear the truth you have spoken, twisted by nails to make a trap for fools, or watch the things you gave your life to broken and stop and build them up with one of tools. In third stanza, we come across these lines. If you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss and lose and start again at your beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone and so hold on when there is nothing in you expect the will which says to them hold on. In stanza number four, if you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings nor lose the common touch, if neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you but none too much, if you can fill the unforgiving minute, with 60 seconds worth of distancing run, yours is the earth and everything that in it. And which is more, you will be a man, my son. So in this way, the poem is composed. So let's see one by one in detail what the poem talks about this poem and some interpretations given for this poem. So let's go through the first stanza. We will go for the two stanzas today and tomorrow two stanzas. Okay. The first stanza, let's go through the lines. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, to be a good human being and to succeed in life.
we should not lose our temperament even if others are blaming for us blaming for their fault to be a good human being and to succeed in life we should keep calm when other people around us are losing their cool we should not lose our temperament if others are blaming us for their fault so this is a life and in this life people blame each other so if someone blames you you should keep silent so here in this poem the poet talks about certain characteristics some features regarding to the human beings which they need to apply in their day to day life human beings need to study some moralities to retain goodness in them man should always strives to be a good human being he should always try to succeed in life what he should do it what can be done in order to receive the success the first thing is that man should keep calm keep quiet when the other people are angry they are losing their coolness we should keep silence we should keep quiet we should not lose our temperament this is very important so you should keep quiet in such a condition when other people are blaming at you other people are blaming for their fault at this moment you need to remain quiet because there is no solution to the problem if you get angry no problem is going to be solved if you are wrathful losing the temper is not the solution of the problem in fact the poet tells us the fact that losing the temper actually 